My second technique for you is how do I verify that my power supplies have come up? So I might need some kind of hardware in order to go in and make sure that my power supplies are good. So if you have boards or ICs or units that are very susceptible to power variations or ripple, then maybe that's important to test for. And you can have a built-in self-test that can do that for you. So for example, if a board has five volts, I wanna make sure that it comes up to five volts plus or minus 5%. Not a bad idea. And those are typical specs for a PC board, so you can validate that, okay? And I'll show you a, a, an example of what if I have several power supplies on my board, plus and minus 12, plus and minus 5, and I want to verify all of them. How can I do that? And how can I do that with the minimum amount of circuitry? I don't need to have uh, 100 devices in order to perform a self-test. That might be self-defeating, just that much more hardware that can go wrong. So I want to minimize that. So all of these things take up space on the board. They will cost you something. So implement them only if there's a return on investment. If you have problems with your power supplies or if you have chips that are susceptible to power supply variations, then by all means, you need to check for it. Here's a circuit I designed um, just to say, how could I validate that plus five volt power is working? And all it uses is two LEDs. So it's just go, no go, right? So what I'm doing is plus five volts, plus or minus 4%. That way I got a 200 millivolt variation. So anything that goes up to 5.2, anything that goes down to 4.8, anywhere between there is perfectly all right, and I'll get my green LED lit. Otherwise, it will eliminate the red LED. Well, how do I do that? Well, just going over the circuit a little bit, what I have at the top left is my 5 volt power going through a 300K ohm resistor down to a 100K ohm resistor going into this uh, op amp pin 2, and the same signal feeds pin 5, as you can see. Uh, but the point is that uh, this is a 4 to 1 divider, right? So my 5 volts becomes 1.25 volts going right into the... Uh, if, if it's exactly 5 volts, it would be 1.25 volts there at pin 2 and also at pin 5. So what I have is another input uh, based on uh, plus 5 volts going through another series of resistors with a 1.3 volt uh, zener. So pin 3 is going to be clamped at 1.3 volts, right? And I've got a little divider circuit that's going to make the other one clamp at 1.2 volts. So that anything that's higher than 1.3 volts means my 5 volt power supply is out of range. Anything under 1.2 volts tells me my 5 volt power supply is out of range. Right? Just do the arithmetic of 4 to 1. So 5.2 volts divided by 4 is 1.3. 4.8 volts divided by 4 is 1.2. So anything less than 1.2 is a failure. Anything higher than 1.3 is a failure. So this circuit um, will work because uh, U1 is a voltage comparator. It's an, it's an open collector voltage comparator, not an op amp, a voltage connector, so uh, comparator. So the point is that if the plus side is higher than the minus side, the output will go high. In that case, it's just going to float high. I do have a 250 ohm pull-up resistor to 5 volts on the output, but it will just float high. 